What is going on YouTube? Thank you for checking back in with another TDH upload. Today's video is us knocking out a custom intercooler for my S13. Now, the video is going to be kind of patchy because I had my co-workers in here throughout the day. They were working. They were actually doing some lighting on that frame right there behind me. And uh, they were going in and out of the shop. One of them had uh, some music on here on the loudspeaker. So, unfortunately, my air compressor... So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do much filming because of that reason. But you guys can see right here, outside of the loading dock, is my 240. She is hanging out, and uh, we'll hop over here real quick, and I'll show you guys the intercooler and what it looks like right now. And then uh, I'll throw in the rest of the clips of everything that I was doing throughout the day, so that way it makes a little more sense to you guys, and then we'll kind of pop back in um, to current time. So let's check this thing out real quick. Alrighty guys, so here is my custom intercooler that will be tucked for my S13. Now I'll throw in a couple photos real quick so that way you guys can see my uh, rough idea, but this is going to be recessed um, behind the headlight brackets, tucked in back there. And uh, what I've done so far is welded two Garrett cores together. I was able to pick up two cores from Jack's Fab and you guys can see right over by my toolbox, there's actually a section of it right there. So what I did was cut it in half And um, I dropped that one down and then welded another core to it. And then I welded a, uh, a cap on the top. And then I welded a cap here on the bottom. You guys can see I've got my end caps or my end tanks, whatever you want to call them, with my three inch inlet and outlet. I'll be welding, you know, small sectioned uh, pipes there. And uh, currently, what we're working on is cutting out the actual caps that sit on the front here. So, you guys can see that place is right about there. And that will be uh, my front and rear end tank caps. And I've got that guy drawn up, and I've actually got the file here on my USB drive. So you guys can see I've been ripping out everything out on the CNC table. It's been really, really handy, making everything nice and precise. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this program into Langmuir real quick. Drag that over. Oh. Pardon me, I didn't even load it up there yet, so give me one second. All right, that was my fault. I thought I had loaded it up on the USB drive, but I did not clearly, so. Get that guy plugged in here. This is what I use for my CAD computer. Got my end tank caps right here. You can see front and rear, those are them. Got that transfer there. Let's go ahead and eject this. Move this guy over. Back to the table we go. Make it a mess here on the floor because of my water table. Pop this guy in here. See if I can figure it out. There we go. Pull up this file. Front and rear. Go to fire control. Front and rear. So there we go. That's what I had drawn up there in Fusion 360. And we're going to do our first test cut. We're going to get this guy ripped out. Once that's ripped out, I'm gonna do a test fit, see how that fits on the uh, end tanks there. And if they're good, I'll rip out three more and we'll be good to go. All right, program's loaded, table squared off. out of the way. Also, if you run a CNC table, it's best not to breathe in the fumes that this aluminum puts off when you're cutting it because it is awful for you. Awful, awful, awful. Move this stuff back behind here. Alright, 
so I think I can change the bottom section or actually I might be able to just let that be right there and then just nip that off towards the end. I think that'll work. Ah, uh, my brake is right here. You can see where I did. That was a little off there, but if I move that up, that fits nicely. And then I'll just have to trim the top section. So I could probably make it just a tad bit shorter. I'm gonna go ahead and pull tape on that, check my measurements. I might redraw this so that way I don't have to cut any of this stuff and put contaminants into my aluminum. And then uh, we'll go from there. We've got our front and rear caps cut out. D-Bird, and here she is sitting up on the actual end tank of the intercooler. Gotta do a little more fitting and playing with it here. There we go. I'm gonna get this guy tacked up. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp it down to the table. Do this one end, flip it over, clamp it back down with the other one, tack it up, spin it around and do the other side. And then uh, once I get that all squared away, I'm gonna try to set up a time lapse. Hopefully I have enough memory on my phone to where I can film that out for you guys and we can get this guy burned in. And then from there, just figuring out what I'm gonna be doing about my inlet and outlet. I'm gonna see uh, how this thing fits up once uh, I've got these guys tacked in there and then uh, we'll move on uh, to the uh, almost the last portion. It's getting dark out here as you guys can see, so I may have to pick this up tomorrow, but we're at least gonna get this guy tacked up and in place and fit it on the car before we call it a night. Well, as you guys can clearly see, we are not at the shop and it is not nighttime and it's, it's all different because uh, my phone died and then it would not take a charge. So we're actually filming on my brand new iPhone right now and uh, I've got the S13 here in front of me in the garage. And you guys can see the intercooler tucked down there. So let me flip the camera around and uh, show you guys this thing real quick. So as you guys can see, it fits up there quite nicely. It's a uh, nice tight fit in between the core support. I could probably shimmy it to the left just a little bit. I just kind of tucked it up in there when I was uh, showing a buddy uh, when I got the car home the other night, but that stuff looks freaking phenomenal. I said that stuff, that intercooler. It looks freaking awesome in there. So all I've got to do from here, guys, is just route my plumbing to the inlet and outlet piping and then obviously add my piping for that and then weld it out. And then uh, once it's welded out, I've got to figure out where I'm going to mount it to. I'm probably going to mount it on the side of these guys, probably just do some tabs that stick out here and that bolt down um, to the actual headlight brackets. And then I may add something down on the bottom, but this thing's definitely got some weight and she's uh, snugged up in there pretty well. So hopefully those two uh, support bolts there and maybe one on the bottom will be enough for it. But that's how it looks as of right now. Ignore my plant because we just had the hurricane come through in Florida and uh, my girlfriend had a bunch of stuff in here. So that way it wouldn't get blown away. Got my generator out. It's just a mess in here. It is a freaking mess, but I wanted to show you guys and update you on the intercooler. I think in part two, we will go ahead and uh, weld this guy out and get everything fitted up. And then hopefully, um, I was supposed to get a tune sometime this month, but I'm not quite sure that's gonna happen with with the uh, hurricane that just happened and then the holidays coming up and stuff, I'm not quite sure if the tuner is gonna be able to get up here. I think it may be in December. I just got rumored that it was, or I just got word that it was December 9th might be the new day. So that gives me a little bit more time to get uh, things squared away with this thing. So if I can get the intercooler in, get an alignment and get my gauges mounted up and get uh, just, I mean, honestly, that's really it. Um, get an alignment, then we can get it for a tune and uh, we could be able to take her out and do uh, some Bernie's with her, you know, whip some donuts or something. But all right, guys, that is about that. I want to uh, thank you guys for watching. I know that I haven't uploaded in quite a while and I'm going to give you the same old spiel that I always give you. But uh, that is that, guys. Um, hopefully in part two, we'll be burning this thing in, plumbing this uh, intercooler out and uh, running it for the first time. So I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you in the next upload. Later. I'm always in the dark house.